And this is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, November 13th, 2009. I'm your host, Peter Bush. In a few minutes, we will let you know the poll results from last week's question. We asked you about who you think has the best high school swimming in the country. And we will also introduce the new uh, poll question of the week. But first up today, an interview with the head coach of the team that just bought the temporary pool that held the 2004 U.S. Olympic swim trials in Long Beach, California. The Ukaipa swim team, located in Eastern California, is in the early stages of constructing the pool, reconstructing the pool, really, and it is expected to open this next March. I'm joining us right now on Skype, head coach Jason Bradbury. Coach, welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. So you guys got yourself a great pool. Now you just got to put it together. Uh, it's already together. It's already in the ground. We're just waiting for the full facility to be ready. Oh, that's fantastic. So you've already constructed it. How long did that take? Uh, the construction took a, uh, just about three to four weeks to get it all together. They're still doing minor things on it, but um, the, the exoskeleton is already in the, in the ground, ready to go. Now, how did you, I mean, how, tell me the history behind your team, the facilities that you've had, and how you became interested in that pool. Well, I joined the team back in uh, 1999, and back then they were talking about trying to find ways to get a new pool because uh, the current facility is a six-lane, 25-yard pool that's three and a half feet, and it's not real. It's not a real great pool to train in if you want to get bigger and stronger. So, way back when they're they're looking to get a new pool back then, and back in 2003 is when I found out that. Uh, the Olympic trial pool was going to be for sale and the swim club in Santa Barbara was not interested in it anymore. So I jumped on it. Did you do, did you look in actually building your own and uh, what would have been the cost of that versus how much you ended up spending on buying this prefab pool, so to speak? Well, a comparable pool at that time was about a little over twice the price of what the city of Ukaipa paid for this pool. Wow. And you know it's so, a you know it's a fast pool. <laughs> yes. As evident, were you at the 2004 Olympic trials, or what do you remember from that meet and watching the swimmers in that pool? Oh, uh, it, it was a real fun meet uh, because we were the ones that purchased the pool. They did give us free tickets to trials, so we did get to go watch prelims, watch finals, and just the whole energy, the excitement in the crowd having a facility that big uh, right on the parking lot of in Long Beach was was amazing and we we're excited we got to see the the hardware of the pool not just the deck itself but we got to go around check out the pumps the heaters and and they pretty much told us that's going with the pool that's going with the pool all this is pretty much ours wow that must have made that a pretty cool experience just knowing yes that it the... was I mean just going to Olympic trials alone is a good experience but knowing that these people are swimming in your future pool was, was pretty cool. Very cool. Now, I mean, you're obviously not the first club that's done that. Uh, and, you know, the last couple of times they've held Olympic trials, the U.S., they've had them in those types of pools because they, they're more, you know, they're thinking more about the venue and where they can pack a lot of people. So I think that's right. cool that you guys were able to nab one. Uh, probably would recommend it for future clubs as well. Yes, yes, uh, especially with the dirt cheap price of, half price and the the company that Mirtha that that makes that manufactures the pool is actually going to oversee all the construction make sure we're doing everything correctly when we put it in now were are there any sort of things that can go wrong with this kind of pool though as opposed to building your own have they warned you about breakdown or anything like that no not at all i mean with with the runoff gutter system and the stainless steel uh skeleton it's, it's supposed to last a lifetime. Very cool. So tell us when exactly uh, you will be able to train in it and, uh, and then where you go from there. Do you, are you, do you have meets already scheduled because you've got this big new facility? Tell us about next year. Well, next year we do have meets scheduled. These meets could be handled in our six-lane pool if necessary, but we're hoping our first home meet, which is in April, we'll be able to host it in that facility the pool is scheduled to be open in march very cool and you you said um i believe i read you have almost 200 swimmers already with your club right you hope to grow yeah. 
I would imagine, now yeah. getting this new facility. Yeah, when I first joined the team, they're a, a seasonal-only team. And one of my uh, stipulations for joining the team was to make it a year-round competitive team. And we grew from 20 swimmers back then in 99 to now we have a club polo, we have club, uh, we have a master's program, and of course our, our strong age group and learn to swim program. So we've, we've expanded to over 200 athletes right now, and we're hoping to double uh, by this time next year. That's great. Anytime we can see a club expanding, that's a great sign, and we're, we're glad that you've got this great pool to do it. Yeah. All right, yeah, Coach. The pool's there. Pool's there, and I got good people around me that help me out with everything. So. All right, thanks a lot for joining us, and good luck next year. Thank you. All right, that's Coach Jason Bradbury joining us, and we will be right back with the Poll of the Week. Can I help you enjoy that, Snickers? Happy peanut soul over chocolate-covered mountaintops and waterfalls of caramel. Prancing nougat in the meadow sings a song of satisfaction to the world. The world. And welcome back. Time to unveil the results of last week's poll question. The question, which state consistently produces the best high school swimmers in America? Most of you said California, 39.84%. Texas was second at 25.8%. Florida uh, got 13.72%. And 20.58% of you voted for other states. Thank you very much for voting. And now it is time for the new poll question. The question, who is the best female breaststroker in the world right now? Your choices, Jessica Hardy, Rebecca Sony. Liesl Jones and Anna Mae Pierce. Now, Hardy has been crushing the 50 short course meters world record at the World Cup meets lately. She also owns the 100 long course meters world record. Sony won the 100 meters at the World Championships this summer in Rome. And of course, she, she was a finalist in the 200 in Beijing. Jones won the 100 in Beijing. She didn't swim the world champs this summer, but is getting back in the competition. And Canada's Pierce is the world record holder in the 200 long course meters breaststroke also finaled in the 100 at Rome. So that is the question for the week. Hope you enjoy the question. And that is it for the show today. Have a nice weekend. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.